So this equation here that we just looked at is called the angular <coughs> momentum law. Okay, in the same way that uh, delta P is equal to J, right, if, uh, in the linear sense, we also have delta L is equal to J theta. Delta L theta is equal to J theta. All right. And um, let's just look at this on the side before we look at how to calculate it. Um, conservation of angular momentum is given by this equation here. If the system is isolated, then we know that there's no external um, rotational impulse, which means your rotational impulse is zero, so delta L theta is zero. However, if there is an external rotational impulse, then that means the system is not isolated. And so there is a rotational impulse. Now, how do we calculate the rotational impulse? We calculate it in a very simil similar fashion to calculating impulse. If you recall from before, uh, in a previous chapter, impulse is equal to the sum of the forces, external forces times delta T. Okay? Those were for constant forces. Well, similarly, rotational impulse is equal to the sum of the external torques times delta T. Okay? So... Calculate the external torques, multiplied by the time the time interval, and you have your external, uh, your ex your rotational impulse. Okay, that is changing what? That is changing the momentum, the the angular momentum of the system. Okay.